for correlation. Uh, so this is the, this adjustment is based on this phenomenon that as you have very very small sample sizes, uh, you necessarily get a correlation and it's being adjusted here. So at a sample size of 25, there's still a pretty big adjustment. And as I mentioned, once you get over 100, it, it looks pretty small. The standard error of the estimate. So this is the amount of error associated with the um, regression analysis in terms of predicting a particular value and in this case I'm almost positive I haven't looked under the hood in this SPSS algorithm but this standard error of the estimate is associated strictly with this model uh, and therefore would be accurate only for uh, X values of 13.56 uh, as you you if as you try to predict what a person's earnings would be based on their education of say 11 or 10 or 8 as you deviate from the actual mean in the model this standard error of the estimate will not be accurate anymore anyway that's kind of advanced and technical uh, and maybe I'll do a separate video in more detail about that but this standard error of the estimate is I'm almost positive is strictly accurate for the model and that by implication the mean of the x value not for the other values here's the ANOVA table which is basically telling us is this correlation of 0.423 statistically significant and we got an f value of 5.00 and it's statistically significant uh, but we also had a statistically significant value here that was estimated by the Pearson correlation approach which is 0 0.018 um, so that's slightly different uh, approaches to estimating the statistical significance of the of the model. We've got the coefficient value here, and this is where the real uh, pertinent elements of the analysis is, particularly if we've already done a correlation analysis and we know there's a correlation. Well, that standardized beta over here, 0.423, is in fact the correlation between er uh, education and earnings. It's just repeated. And we have the statistical, statistical significance associated with this standardized beta weight based on the t-distribution, which is 0 0.035. Uh, so we know the correlation is statistically significant, but we do not know yet whether what one unit increase in education, so one extra year, how much extra can we expect on average a person to earn on a weekly basis and that value is here. This stand unstandardized coefficient uh, right here, B or, or, or beta, unstandardized beta is 57.93. So if you increase your education by one year from 11 years to 12 years, you expect uh, on average a 50, almost $58 increase in earnings. This is again back in the 90s, if, if I'm not mistaken. It'd be great if somebody knew some study that's been published recently on the correlation between education and earnings, and please send it to me and I'll simulate the data so that we have more accurate estimates for 2011. Uh, so, but in, in the time period that this was based on, which I think is the late 90s, an extra 58 bucks a week doesn't sound like very much, even by the standards back in the 90s, late 90s. Now, here we have the um, intercept, and SPSS, for whatever reason, calls it the constant. And uh, the constant or the intercept is the value of y, so the value of weekly earnings when x is 0. And I especially like this example for linear regression because this is obviously a nonsensical value. This suggests that if you have zero education, you would earn negative $240 uh, a week. Uh, so how you could earn negative values, does that mean that you're spending up your credit cards and, and you're borrowing money? I don't know. But uh, there are simply no values associated in the data set there are no values in this data set that correspond to an x value of zero. In fact, if we look at the scatter plot between education and earnings, we can see that um, earnings educate. Uh, now that I want to get that into the y-axis predictor variable x. So if we look at the scatter plot, which you should always do anyway. Uh, here's the actual scatter plot between education and earnings, and we can see that, in fact, there is no. So the lowest is something like eight, and the uh, 
the uh, intercept value is trying to tell us, well, how much would someone earn if the 